Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. In this, we will see both the problems, minimum number of uh, pushes to type a word one and also word two because the only difference is in the constraints and we will see the bigger one because it's a very easy, not easy, but yeah, it's just if one thing clicks, it's done. It's completely done. So the problem says that we are given a string word containing the lowercase English letters. So I have just 26 letters which I have in English alphabets. So that only I have with me. Now telephone keypads have keys numbered like you remember that Nokia phone which we had at that time. Maybe you guys might not. But yeah, if the folks who have remembered just the sweet memory that Nokia sound. Aha. Cool. Uh, coming on back. Um, so basically we have just let's say a number is mapped to A, B, C. So if I just press number two once, I'll print a A. If I press number two twice fast, then I'll print a B. If I press the number two twice fast, 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 then I'll print a number C. So you remember that how you used to, how, how we used to print. Okay, if, if I press a number A, okay, and then if I wait, and then if I press the number two again, then I'll print a A. But if I press the number fast, fast, same number two, then I print a B. So that's how simply just say, okay, one, if you do a one tap, you will get a A. If you do two taps, you will get a B. If you do, if you do three taps, you will get a C. And the same way, if you do one tap of nine, you will get a W. Two taps, you will get a X. Three taps, Y. Four taps, Z. Okay. Now, this is the actual, actual keypad which we had in our Nokia. But the problem says that uh, I am allowed to remap the keys numbered from two to nine. Forget these remaining keys. Forget these remaining keys. I can remap because these are not having any characters. I can re I, 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 I just only want English alphabets. So I can remap these remaining nine keys with any again English alphabets. So now I want one thing that you need to find the minimum number of times the keys to be pushed to type the string word. Now you are a lazy person. You want to push the keys as minimum time as possible what is the minimum number of times the keys will be pushed that is what you have to find out or figure out so we have to return the minimum number of pushes need to type the word after remapping the keys so one thing is for sure now you like if i ask you bro if i ask you bro one thing i'll tell you you have to type b three times right and there is no a no c no alphabet no other alphabet so then it is very obvious you will say bro just hold us hold on if i have typed b three times then i will make sure my b my b is not at the position two it should be at the position one so i'll map any key any key maybe two three four five any key but i'll map my b to a location of first location okay he should come at the very beginning d and then let's say if i ask you okay i have to type a four times and you will say, oh, that's great. So what I'll do is, okay, I will not put an A after this because I still have multiple keys left. No, I, ha I still have multi multi multiple keys left. So I'll just push a A instead here. I'll just put an A. I'll just choose another, another pen, but I'll put an A here. So that in one, one, one keys, I can type B. In one, one, one keys, I can type A also. Now, let's say if I ask you, okay, C, C. Then again, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, H, H, let's H, H, I, I, J. So you can see, okay, C, I will put it here. D, I'll put it here. E, I'll put it here. F, I'll put it here. G, I'll put it here. H, I'll put it here. Ah, what about the I now? So now it's an issue for you. Where you will, where will you place your I? For sure, your, all the first letters are finished. Where will you place your I? You will try to place I after any of the alphabets. Okay. I'll place my I after my B. Okay. Great. Then let's say your J comes and J's frequency is 4. J's frequency is 4. Now, are you saying that will you place your J after any other alphabets? For sure, you, you will not place after B because you will have to have three clicks. So you will try to place after A. But are you serious? Are you serious? Can't you like or Aryan like one thing. I can see right here that all other alphabets have frequency of 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, but J frequency of 4. So actually, J should be coming at the first location and then the next alphabet. Uh, that is the case that whosoever has the highest frequency should firstly occupy the first location. 
first location. So for me, the priority will not be like this. I'll erase this entire thing. So my priority will be okay. Occupy your A first because A has the highest frequency, which is four. Okay, I'll occupy the A first. Then occupy the J first. I'll occupy the J first. Then occupy the B next. Okay, occupy the B next. Then occupy the C, D, E because they have the same frequency. I'm, I'm just writing now. But yeah, I I'm I'm going down in the decreasing order of frequencies. Okay. Occupied B here, occupied C, occupied D, occupied E, occupied F, occupied G. So one thing I got to know, one thing I got to know, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can only place eight characters. So let's say I just grabbed all the elements A, J, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and so on and so forth. I know I have 26 characters. But I remembered, I will just sort in the order of their frequency in a decreasing order and I can place the first eight characters at the first, at the first press of keypad. Okay. The next eight characters can be placed at the next press of keypad, next press of keypad. The next eight characters can be placed at the next press of keypad, next press of, which is the third character, next press of keypad. Then ultimately I will have remaining two characters which I'll place at the fourth press of keypad as you saw because you will have remaining two characters one and two characters which will place at the fourth press of the keypad fourth press of the keypad remaining two characters so I know one thing I will just grab all the elements all the elements with their frequencies I'll sort all the elements in the decreasing order of their frequencies now all these elements are in the decreasing order of their frequencies I know for the first eight elements, I just need one press. So I know, okay, everyone will contribute a one press. I need one press, one press, one press. But remember, I wanted what? I am saying, okay, A has a frequency of four. A has a frequency of four. So for sure, for writing my four A's, I will have to do four press. So one into four. My J has a frequency of four. So for writing four J's, I will have to do a four press, four into one. 4 into 1, B has a frequency of 3, I remember 3, so I will do, a, I have to write a 4, 3 press, 3 into 1, C has a frequency of 2, okay, 2 press, 2 into 1, but yeah, it's for one character, I just need one press, that's it, but as soon as it, okay, for the 8 characters, I will do like this, for the next 8 characters, I know, okay, its frequency is 2, but to type 1 H, I need 2 taps, so to, so to type 2 H, I will need 2 into 2 taps, Let's say my, let's say my this specific J H I, 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 let's say would have been a frequency of one. So again, type one I, I need two taps and for writing one I, I just need two taps. So, okay, here I am multiplying with one to the frequencies. Here I am multiplying with two to the frequencies. Here I will multiply it with three to the, three to the frequencies. Here I will multiply with the four to the frequencies because I know I will need four taps to write one character. And this is the only thing just get all the elements get their frequencies sort the elements on the basis of their frequencies when it is sorted just for the starting eight characters so for the starting eight um, elements the frequency multiplied by one for the next eight elements frequency multiplied by two for the next eight elements frequency multiplied by three for the remaining element which is two elements frequency multiplied by four and that's your simple answer so if I just go and show the code, it's pretty simple. Firstly, I keep an unordered map to grab the frequency of all the characters. Now, I just pushed back all the elements frequency because I'm concerned about the frequency in the decreasing order. That's it. I'm concerned only about the frequencies in the decreasing order. So I just pushed back only the frequencies in my vector and I sorted the vector in the decreasing order because I'm concerned about the frequencies of the element in the decreasing order. That's it. Then I went on to all the, all the frequencies, which is actually the decreasing order. And then I will keep on having a count. If my count is less than eight, okay, frequency multiplied by one. If the count is actually between eight and 16, frequency multiplied by two. If the count is between 16 and 24 in the, like in this, in this range, if you will see, if I just show back uh, in this third range, if it is there. So for sure frequency multiplied by three. So I did a frequency multiplied by three frequency multiplied by three. And for the remaining, which is the two, which is the two characters frequency multiplied by four. And that's how you can actually get the minimum taps. It's a greedy problem, but it's saying I'll get the minimum taps required. And that's how you can simply solve it. Bye-bye.